the younger younger lot who really wants to get into visual art they are exposed to so many other things they can get into the um, uh, animation 2d animation 3d animation graphic designing uh, 3d graphics uh, then silicon graphics so many other exposures are there so only thing is that professional guide thing to the students are very important and this uh, should come from the school level and which will help the our younger lot to get into the right professional streams of the visual art and have to to get updated with our syllabus which is which we are which is one of my own personal uh uh thing which i am concerned about because we have been still following the academic structure which has been laid down by the britishers you know mm. J. Swaminathan and uh, Ramchandran have been trying to do that in some way. In fact, J. Swaminathan tried to yeah. uh, get in tribal art, but get influenced by it. In fact, and he tried to promote it as well, if I remember well. So we can do that. In fact, con- yes. contemporary artists can. Yeah. Do that. In fact, even in, at school level, I believe that uh, when I try to interact and we try to think, sit down and think, we also think that individual villages can have different ideas put into their child's mind. For example, a person from say in Goa, if I take then person from Pankona might be able to think in a different way because he'll have different cultural setup than person who is from the uh, northern side, which is Padne or Ponda. So I think that can be uh, transplanted in India, as you say, and take very those, good, very good. like Maharashtra, very good. Maharashtra's Varli can be taken and then incorporated in contemporary education in the college. That is what you mean to say, I suppose. Right. Yes, yes. See, uh, uh, when when we talk about this, you know, you if you if you uh, if you take uh, like uh, I said, I was studying in Baroda, and no doubt you learn a lot from your teachers. Definitely, there is no issue in it. But you learn a lot of the things when you interact with the the students who okay. come from a very different culture from the northeast, mm-hmm. who come from the south, who come from the Kashmir, who come from the any other culture, you know. And I think which is very important in any art colleges also. See, if the Baroda flourished or Shantiniketan flourished then, because even even for that matter, if you take the Goa College of Art, in early days, there was a students from the different other states. Right, right. And that is one of the point, you know, where, you know, the when you have a cultural exchange hmm. mind, which will help the, right. yeah, broaden their uh, viewpoint also. And this is very important for any art colleges. Mm-hmm. Rajan, I would cut there and come to your subjects. You usually have painted Gandhi and peace and all those sort of things. How do you, as an artist, pursue things? How do you think uh, this creative process starts so that our audience can come to know as to how an artist thinks and how his subjects are created? What influences him? One. And the second question I would ask right now is, you have also not done painting and graphics. You also done Rangoli, as I said. At the same time, you have done installation. If you, but I still remember that. You have also done some video installation, if I'm not mistaken. So tell us something about it. So, uh, see, I feel uh, the, for being an artist, you, you did. I'm sorry. Be... I'm sorry, and you did installation way back. I mean, that was not even uh, uh, so popular at that point of time. Yeah. Uh... See, when you, we talk about the installation art, I feel as an artist, for me personally, uh, one has to be uh, one has to be uh, able to explore and ex- get exposed to the various different methods and material, and that is what I have been personally doing myself also. And uh, uh, yeah, it's it's like you know, uh, if I, if uh, I remember, yeah, I started doing installation in 2002. Uh, the 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 very first was called as the musical chairs in the garden, where I had use not only painting but even the garbage or even the live crafts in my installation uh, it, it was like a, in a way what the present artists are doing there there is a the performing art which is a, also a part of the visual art right now so i had done the uh, it was 
interactive installation which was did i did in 2002 uh, no doubt making a very political uh, yes, statement about the state of the uh, uh, politics what was happening then mm. uh, which was affecting uh, uh, tourism mm. because you know i was being an artist i was always concerned about the social issues of concern with the goa so tourism as you know is one of the major major industry for goa and uh, and how the the local tourists used to miss you this place mm. and it was in a way converted into garbage mm. area you know so this was the one of the major statement which i did in my installation and and coming back to the painting yes i did uh, use the subjects of the gandhi christ and buddha because uh, that was the, again the time of the social disturbance about the factor of terrorism which was being an artist i used to get concerned about and i used to feel like these three iconography of the uh, social fabrics which is very important in a, in that context like Uh, the thoughts of the gandhi the sacrifice of the uh, christ and the the very message of the peace in the society about the buddha which was very important in 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 uh, being an artist for me and so i used lot of the iconography of these uh, 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 our uh, gandhi christ and buddha and further even in print also i did use more uh, certain relationships like uh, i started exploring the heart mind which was again you know uh, uh, which was going back to the 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 message which i used to talk earlier also you know no doubt they were more about the uh, where i had a direct uh, image of the gandhi christ and buddha but here i was more talking about the inner inner uh, mess, uh, need of being an artist like you you have to be a clean with your heart then you have to be very thoughtful with your mind so i started using the heart backbone then even uh, brain in my my images also this was like you know somewhere i was always feeling uh, the, the uh, as a, as a artist i felt like a very intuitive uh, power maybe because of um, because of maybe my father who was very much about the uh, spiritual person yeah and uh, and he he always taught me one thing like you know never to hurt any anybody you know whether it is a, even a ant or a, uh, whether it is even a snake you know so he, he was a very never, saintly person in fact he was a very yeah, saintly he used to never allow me to kill Mm-hmm. this uh, whether it is an insect or the uh, reptile but this this was the thing being an artist i used to always rationalize and i started using this elements in my works also i i would cut there and come to your very personal question yeah, very please. interesting very interesting because you are in, an in artist fact, in fact in fact sorry yeah in fact in fact uh, when we interact very casually lot lot of things comes out i do remember those <laughs> you know i still remember like you know we used to sit uh, sit in your place for a late and start talking it is not like you know talking and then coming to a very different and i always uh, miss those moments also like uh, our thoughts uh, came in a very practical way yeah. the outcome was all very practical it was not just for the talking very intellectually it was not that way it was like you know whenever we did discuss anything we made an attempt to come out with the very practical solution to it right right that's true ha huh. nice of you to remember that uh, we also did a show together we did number of things together i suppose and you remember that anyway i don't want yes, to talk yes, about it yes. because it would be like uh, <laughs> tom talking about myself and you uh but uh, we of we three of no, 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 no. the you the and myself can help lot of people also you know? <laughs> that's true and in fact yes. we are very zeit guys a very modern type of a very different type of exhibition if you remember then we had three different genres we different sectors i mean you sajan did sajan bhatkar did photography you did painting and i did cartoons so it was all three uh, strong points of us each 
which was displayed i think this very was a unique true. exhibition if i if i remember right i don't think this has happened very in all this year very true yeah so i'll come to your personal no, question no, is no. that uh, uh, you are an artist surprisingly your daughter is also turned out to be a good uh, artist that is she does a <laughs> beautiful videos and your wife also paints even though she is not trained as what I, you and me are so how 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 is the atmosphere at home <laughs> in an artistic atmosphere do you all See, share ideas uh, a very I, personal question if you don't mind i'll tell you one yeah no it's fine is i think this is very important also if, if when when i talk about my experiences of learning in in europe also you know when i was on a you know very different residency program which i learned you one has to be very very perfection in doing whatever you know whether you do a very small thing or a very big thing you tried you put your high heart and mind into it so that you know you give the best to it so even in my house also i have a habit of like you know keeping the things in together so these these are the things which luckily my wife also supports me a lot also and these are the things which uh, in a way has come into my daughter's habits also so so whenever if i am doing something like you know today also when i have my space for the interview my daughter was trying level best you know she was telling me the light has to be this way this the uh, the the other the uh, object has to be put this way <laughs> and this definitely helps you know and i'm really surprised the uh, my daughter i'm not taking it as a daughter but you know the the child who is almost of the 12 years mm. uh, the mindset have changed of this generation Mm. the mindset means you you i really have feel good also uh, good also because she can sense that colors she can sense the light she can sense what art is being an artist what we try at our level best when because being a teacher sometimes you 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 bang your head with your students also sometimes you know to tell them that the composition right. has to be this way the light has to be this way tones has to be this way shading has to be done and i am really surprised sometimes you know the my daughter who is so young she will tell me like you know the colors has to be no this colors doesn't go this this doesn't oh. gel this form has to be this way so this the this communication between among three of us also help us help me lot also it is it is sometimes it is critical but that criticism is also very necessary i believe whether it is from your wife or a daughter it helps you lot and definitely i always remember as you reminded me yeah triveni sangam was the show which we did right. along with you and sajjan my very close dear friend sajjan bhatkar who has been always a motivating force for me also and uh, this was a very different exhibition which we did and prior to that we did another show if you remember when we were in still in college hmm. we did best of 90 oh right right which, I just which was it. one of the one of the major exhibition hmm. which we did being a, being a student student yeah and this was a very breakthrough exhibition in a goan art scenario also right, right and uh, later on this 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 exhibitions helped me somewhere if if i still remember you know now uh, my interaction with you especially mm. like we used to draft a lot of things mm. so right. this drafting has helped me a lot in my administrative uh, uh, work jobs mm. especially with lalit kala or the way, even in college or whenever if i am curating anything because I, i i like to curate lot of things and i have been coordinating and curating various national and international exhibitions right. especially to do with the print making also right. and this preciseness this perfection as help always help me a lot and definitely this is one of the major thing which which the younger uh, artist should know also because now the things have changed it is not like earlier chalta hai hmm. you cannot afford to do that this is no more anymore whenever you are presenting your work to the galleries right galleries the uh, the the artist has to be very presentable also right. uh, in his own presentations how to 
show the works what which are the works has to be shown to the galleries what sort of the gal uh, works has to be shown this is one of the major things the our artists should learn also right 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 can i just can i just know the know the channel that uh, your daughter uh, runs oh uh, it's a, it's a quite surprising for me also you know she she was on tiktok ah, she was on tiktok yeah right right and i no not yeah no doubt i i initiated her because you know she is very keen into theater and to my surprise you won't believe she did more than 100 videos on her own mm. because and it was very sincere and very nice of her when all this our political disturbance started uh -huh. she was the first person she said papa i want to delete all my tiktok account and she did it and we just downloaded it all when i was downloading all the videos it was more than 100 videos which she has done oh okay <laughs> yeah and she is very keen and very uh passionate about theater okay sure. okay painting i am not sure and i am not sure no doubt i give her own freedom and even my wife also arti also tries her level best to give her the freedom because after years we don't know where she will be heading towards exactly exactly your wife also had a recent show And there is recent past, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Online. Yeah, yeah. It's good. I'm yeah, she's great. also been exhibiting in different uh, places also. Great. So I would like to come to a question which is uh, very close to my heart, and I like to ask everyone, not necessarily that you have to ask in positive or negative way. Uh, do you believe in higher forces or spiritual uh, spirituality? Or do you think that that something else is guiding us beyond what what we are today, or do you think we are just the ones who are doing, and we are the we are we are god what do you what do how do you look at it no in fact in fact uh, i think uh, uh, in your earlier question i was just touching to that also <laughs> like you know somewhere my father as i said you know he was a very very spiritual person he was never never a materialistic person hmm. never i know so um, somewhere i also being an artist also i do feel like you know yeah we as a artist definitely we are connected to the spirituality and um, working on your canvas or working on a given material it itself is a very relaxing which is, which which is there is a certain power within you mm. and that is one of the reason you are an artist see you can be any other person also if you are right. painting you are lucky enough that because you you have that intuitive power within you and that power allows you to paint or draw or act or whatever you know this is one of the major energy which each and every artist is carries i believe and as i said earlier also this is the energy which one has to nurture it properly so that you become a good artist and you become a good human being mm -hmm. which is the one of the thing which is needed in a present society right okay. and uh, and i really thankful to the god also that i am i belong to the visual artist and i do try to paint and uh, uh, get satisfied within myself also because of this energy which i have got and this is the energy which like you know which allows you to communicate also and i have personally interacted with the various different different artist community across also you know right sometimes i feel some energy which pushes you that there is a certain things you want to do it but somewhere you feel like you know you get neglected mm -hmm. and then you don't do it but i tell you sometimes i feel good because i have not done that uh -huh. because that energy which was you no know, i could have felt like you know um, like um, uh, i'll tell you one of the stories like you know like many times we uh, my wife and we interact and you know she said okay this is the things that's come to you this is a very good opportunity hmm. but i say okay it's fine i'll do it i'll do it and i somewhere you know that energy or that intuitive power doesn't allow me to cross that boundary and mm -hmm. get connected with that thing and sometimes 
it get disappear and that i'll get i lost the opportunity i would say but rather after sometimes i feel like you know i i had taken a right decision of giving it up because you know that intuitive power within you tells you somewhere it was not allowing to do that right. and this is what i feel personally i don't know for what about the other people right. but personally i do feel about this you know there uh, there is a certain energy which which takes you and supposedly today if we are communicating with each other also it is a certain energy we because there is a certain vibration between you and me and i'm sure this vibration will take it to the different social aspect also you know this because you know because of the social media now this vibration will go if it is a very positive vibration then it will transfer to the many hundred people across absolutely yeah absolutely i hope i have answered absolutely yeah 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 you have been very precise in fact you have been precise you have been very uh, gentle as well you have put it right in fact so everybody will understand what you are trying to say no in, 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 in fact in fact on a lighter note if, I, if if you remember like you know many times it has happened with me also you know i still remember we used to we used to sit opposite the church yeah. on that bench right you me and sajjan in the evening right and i still remember we were talking about the governor then <laughs> hano prasad singh or somebody yes <laughs> yes and we were just talking and suddenly within 2 minutes yes, yes. the governor passed from that side <laughs> so you know this is the this is the vibration which i have always felt and uh, if you don't mind i i just want to uh, bring to your notice also one more intuitive thing which has happened to me personally see i was in a glass coping studio and i had a co artist who were working from japan you know and we always we had decided that we both separately we will be visiting paris because paris is a mecca for the any right. any artist right and uh, we individually we visited the paris and i was very new to paris and i could see each and every tourist in paris were mostly japanese tourists you know okay. and you cannot recognize them yeah <laughs> you cannot recognize right. them and wherever i used to see yani young girl i used to feel like you know that's my friend uh-huh. and you won't believe one day i was traveling in a tube towards to go to louvre mm-hmm. museum mm-hmm. and i was uh, walking after getting out of the tube and i was walking towards the staircase and suddenly i saw one girl coming towards me and why i'm telling you most of the time i was just thinking about this uh, girl no friend of mine could be there yeah yeah who being i i used to think maybe like i may see her you know but suddenly i saw when i was walking i saw one of the girl who was coming towards me walking and she started waving on a very high note and hi rajan and i was really surprised you know how does this thing can happen in a paris where you have a thousand lakhs of tourists right. and you right. happen to meet that single individual exactly. whom you can connect whom you are very friendly with i mean right. i think Absolutely. this is one Absolutely. of the energy which is there that's true that's true nice of you to remember our incident <laughs> as well <laughs> uh, yeah. how how there are a lot of the other... yeah carry on carry on no i'm saying there are a lot of the incident this way which has which yeah. has happened with you can go on and on you and can go on and on yeah you can go on and on yeah do you think artists are uh, socially conscious have to be socially conscious do you think they like there are many artists who paint uh, to educate people there are some artists who are not bothered about what others think how do you see artists in that context you can give me a small answer short answer see i i believe that being an artist um, uh, we can raise the issue i'm talking about the visual artist you can yeah. raise the issue yeah but it is very difficult for me personally if you talk about uh, i cannot give the solutions to it but i can raise the issues and i believe most of the artists in uh, in 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 india they are socially quite aware about it and they do raise the issue like as when i talk about the my installation musical chairs right. in the garden right. it was a very social issue we had a, so many cms then within yeah. within a short period yeah. but they were least bother about the tourism industry what was happening around mm-hmm. so this is this is the way like it it does work and there are so certain artists who paint for themselves 
it's fine fair enough it's it's their freedom mm. but uh, personally if you talk about me i do get aware or do consciously sometimes uh, touch certain issues how do you see now post covid I means covid has changed everything you must have answered my question but i would like to ask you a specific question how do you see art now moving towards you know, after post the post covid after covid because uh, the economic conditions have changed the social conditions have changed everything has changed do you think art will still be valued do you think art art will be uh, looked as an option anymore i mean looking at it from a commercial angle because it's very scary because if you have money you are going to buy art very true very true yes yes but i think uh, somewhere down the line maybe like you know the the person who wants to really buy the work of art he won't stop yeah that is one thing but definitely post covid things will definitely affect the individual artists also like a uh, touch would be a lucky enough sometimes we say we we being in a teacher we are in right. with we are we are with the service exactly. with the with the institution but there are a lot of the artist friends of mine who are doing freelancing and it is really tough and i do remember i have personally worked with some of my own friends in generating the funds to these artists also and so you can imagine like that the condition may be good or maybe very bad also now, no doubt in a, in a given circumstances in a given circumstances artist doesn't stop in painting or printing or doing his own work of art that is one of the plus point and then it is one of the very positive thing about it and uh, <laughs> whether one can survive with the artist i think the art has survived for the ages and artists also have survived for the ages it will survive <laughs> yeah it will definitely right. and one we should only positively being and being a teacher uh, give our best to our students Until. and try to motivate them you know on a very positive note so that you know they get better exposure they get a, a strong good foundation which is lacking i believe that's true. and the foundation in visual art is one of the major things important. which is needed important right 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 i i i was speaking to suhas uh, shilkar and he said mm-hmm. in my own show if you if you have seen the show and he has put it yeah. very positively that uh, this covid situation he looked at it from a very different angle and said this is going to make people have a hold a lot of money because they are not going to spend much so they are not going to move out <laughs> go to foreign trips so they are going to have money and so it's going to be a positive thing the post covid stuff the post covid scenario might be much better in fact he says it's going to be better because people are going to have money to spend on art because they're going to have extra money with them and it's oh, a nice wonderful. thing a positive way of looking at things and you also put it in a similar way of course uh, again uh, before uh, moving signing off uh, an advice from you very senior artist very successful artist a teacher and i believe and personally i feel uh, you have it in you so an advice to younger generation as well as others my our contemporaries who are here how do you go about what do you think uh, is your advice see as a, learning is the process which is endless being an artist for me so in in, in keeping in that mind i feel as a teacher practicing is very important as i said earlier also what is what is lacking in a present time because the things have become so much exposure is there for the younger generation right now so practicality of being an artist or practically of becoming an artist is lacking now so foundation foundation of being an artist is one of the major things which each and every artist should practice you you get into the art colleges one should feel lucky enough that among the thousands you are being getting selected to this art colleges and art colleges has got a wonderful teachers if they can they can really look forward to this teachers and work on those lines like practicing like doing seen in a very simple way sketching which is i have been telling to my students sketching and drawing which is one of the major things which is needed and this will 
give you a strong foundation where in a later period you can experiment explore so many methods so many materials is available and there are the this is endless now it is not like in earlier days like you know you have a painting print making sculptures no it is the 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 visual art has crossed almost every boundaries there is a very thin line between painting and sculpture print making and sculpture right. or performance or everything has got and you cannot claim that you know tomorrow if you get the certificate of bfa or mfa that you become artist no i'm sorry you know this is no more now tomorrow if you have got a an id degree also you become a very good artist also so it is it is like you know it is your own sincere efforts hard work which will definitely pay you so one has to i have personally traveled a lot and i have seen you know and i have been seeing the different students and the students who put sincere efforts in basic foundation definitely they make the mark and if at all you any of the youngsters who want to get into it's a really wonderful profession you should get into the this profession but be serious like how any other artist performing artist does sadhana even visual artists have to do its sadhana and sadhana is very important to become a very good visual artist that's true that's very nice of you for spending your time with me uh, rajan uh, of course uh, you are a good friend of mine you would not say no to me but of course you are busy and with lot of scuttling between delhi and goa for the for at least two three times now i believe you are very you are tired but you reached um delhi a few days back or two days back that you have given me this time i'm really thankful to you and your family in fact your daughter who made, made all the arrangements for <laughs> giving me the time and this valuable advice that to our to our viewers at the same time talking about your life how you got into art and so on once again thanks a lot for being with us thank you viewers for watching this program i would request you all to kindly subscribe to the channel because the moment you subscribe i am getting encouraged and the moment i get encouraged i get encouraged to call my uh, subjects onto this program and they get encouraged further on to be on this on this program the whole idea is nothing commercial the whole idea is to spread art the knowledge of art the love of art and that's the reason i request you all together we can do a difference together we can stop corona virus together we can defeat corona virus so also to do together we can actually spread the love of art so we are going through very unprecedented times a difficult times of corona virus covid 19 pandemic and it is difficult for us to socialize as what we used to do earlier so now we have to be careful while socializing sometimes we have to go out for work etc and we have to be very careful so moment we go out it is better that we carry a mask i'm just showing you a mask so that it registers in your mind so this is a mask i have shown you so that it registers in your mind you can take any type of mask sometimes you might be wanting to take a technically sound sound uh, mask that is called n95 or something which i am not talking technically sound it is better to be safe because the moment we come home we have to see that our people at home the older ones the younger ones remain safe if we come in home from some errands that we go out and do it is it is preferred to take a wash that is the best thing that we can do to save ourselves save humanity thank you very much for watching this program thank you very much rajan for being here thank you nagesh thank you thanks a lot for having me and it was really wonderful to once again interact with you and my best wishes to everybody and as already nagesh sardesa as very dear friend has already mentioned you we have to come out with this uh, phase of pandemic covid 19 so the best way would be be safe take care of yourself take care of your family members and take your own precautions and this is the best way and for artists this is the time which we have to fight together and i'm sure we will be coming out with the flying colors very soon looking forward thank you nagesh thanks a lot thanks a lot for having me thank you thank you rajan thanks a lot take care